Sustain Investigation, the rubric. Today, we're going to talk about the three things you need to do to get a good grade uh, using a rubric, and this comes from the College Board. So, the first thing we're going to talk about is inquiry. That's your question. Here is the bad baby version of this. Written evidence identifies an inquiry, so you wrote a question, but visual evidence does not relate to that inquiry. So, basically, your art doesn't match your question. Well, that doesn't even make sense. Why would you do that? Let's move on. Better. Written evidence identifies an inquiry. That means you wrote a question and that it relates to your sustained investigation. And visual evidence demonstrates the sustained investigation. That means you wrote a question and then you made art that followed the question. That's better. But we're missing one thing. What's that? Good baby. Your written evidence identifies an inquiry that guides the sustained investigation. This time they use the word guides. So you are following that question from piece to piece. And your visual evidence demonstrates the sustained investigation. So they can see from the beginning of your portfolio to the end of your portfolio, you were looking at that question and constantly being guided by that question. And it should be rolling along with it. That's what they want to say. All right. Next of three. Practice experimentation and revision. You know I've talked about this several times. They want to see this, and here's what they want to see. Bad baby. Visual evidence of practice, experimentation, or revision. So you've done it. However, the visual evidence does not relate to the sustained investigation. So you went and practiced how to use oil paint, but your sustained investigation was about how you were going to use magic markers to make pictures of alligators. It has nothing to do with it. They don't care that you practice oil paints if you're using magic markers, right? It has to go together. Dose, better. Visual evidence of practice experimentation or revision relates to the sustained investigation. So that means what you did makes sense and goes along with your investigation. I said I was going to practice this and you can see it in my art. And also, written evidence relates to the visual evidence of practice experimentation or revision. So not only did you do it, but you wrote about it. That's better. But what's the best? Visual evidence of practice, experimentation, and revision demonstrates development of sustained investigation. So you didn't just practice it, but it actually made a difference. You didn't just revise it, but you actually moved along with it. You didn't just, what's the other one? Anyway, experiment. But because of that experimentation, you made different things, and it changed your sustained investigation. That's what they want to see. It all gets applicable. And written evidence describes how the sustained investigation shows evidence of practice experimentation. So not only did you do it, and not only can you obviously see it in your art, but you can write about it. You can explain it with your little typewriting words. They're going to want to see the written. It's important because you get marks for writing. Last one, materials, processes, and ideas. And one of the things in the questions I ask you to do is identify the materials you're going to use and the process and your ideas, your concepts. So let's see what they want to say. Bad baby. There is little to no evidence of visual relationship among materials, processes, or ideas. Again, what I was just talking about before. If you said you were going to do landscapes and oil paints, and then you drew alligators out of magic markers, there's no relationship there. The material has nothing to do with what you're doing. You want to have them go together. The materials are as important. The processes or your ideas need to go along with your art. Makes sense. Better. There is a visual relationship, meaning they can see it in your art among your materials, your processes, and your ideas. If you say you're going to use little buttons to make a big picture, then you better be able to show that you used art, you made art using little buttons to make a big picture. Like, it's got to have a relationship. It's got to make sense. But best, there is a visual relationship among the materials and processes, and ideas are clearly evident and demonstrate synthesis. Well, what does synthesis mean? It means it all goes together throughout your whole portfolio. It's the same thing over and over again. That's what they want to see. You've got this visual relationship. I'm going to make pictures out of little buttons, and I grow with it. Like maybe I decide I'm going to do the buttons differently here. I'm going to do the buttons differently there. There's a, there's a growing. It all goes together, and it all fits together. I hope this makes some sense. The words are all there. You can look at this. You can rewind the tape. Rewind the videotape. Watch it again. Plenty fun. That's all we got for now. That's the rubrics. That's how you get your grades.